Agnes there comfortably into the final, the women's long jump. And three of these men should make it comfortably through to the second round, the men's 100 metres. And uh, this man should be amongst them, Christophe Lemaitre. Of course, the first uh, non-African athlete, non-African origin athlete, to uh, break 10 seconds. The Frenchman, still only 21 years old, former world junior champion. European triple champion last year. He's up against Justin Gatlin. Now there's a character with a colourful past. Gatlin, of course, the Olympic champion in 2004, but uh, sat out a ban since then. Come back into the sport just this summer and uh, making the American team. Gatlin, well, make of it what you will, but second in the US Championships to Walter Dix. Some people not happy with his being in the stadium at all, certainly not being out on the track in competition. But he is here, the rules have been applied, and he's entitled to his place on this blue track. Chirandi Martina of the Netherlands also out there, he's in lane seven. Just give you that lineup from the far side. Yumvure of Zimbabwe goes in one. Jorge of Dominica in two. Then Ilian of Kyrgyzstan in three. He got through from the preliminary rounds this morning. He ran 10.86. He really will struggle here. He's in three. Le Maitre goes in four. And they've been in such fine form this year. He's broken uh, 10 seconds on three occasions. Devonish goes in five. Marlon Devonish for Great Britain. Watch him. Justin Gatlin in six. Martina seven. Rogers in lane eight. Another preliminary runner this morning has made it through. And away they go. Not a bad start there from Martina to left of picture. Here comes Lemaitre now. He's better over 200, but he's looking strong here. It's Lemaitre from Martina. Very, very tight there. I think Devonish might have been run out into fourth place. Minus one the win there. 10.15 unofficially the winning time for Lemaitre. Certainly nothing wrong with the Frenchman. 10.15 into a one metre headwind would take him down to very, very close to 10 seconds in still air and uh, sub 10 probably in uh, with a following win. But that was a tough old heat actually. When you look across that lineup, Lemaitre, Gatlin, Martina, who is himself a sub 10 second performer, Marlon Devonish. On paper, I guess you wouldn't have expected Devonish to do any better than fourth, Martin. And I fear that the Briton has finished outside the first three. Yes, and he was only caught towards the end, really. The fast finishing Trendy Martini, you can see there too from the left. But Christophe Lemaitre has certainly stepped up, hasn't he, this season? Ran very fast at Albi in the French National Championships recently. And then leading home some very good men. He looked a class apart, really, did uh, Lemaitre. Gatlin moving through without any real pain or discomfort. Devnish just getting run out of it. It's a decent run there from the Briton who, let's be honest, in sprinting terms, really is something of a veteran these days. Well, he is by some margin the fastest of the non-automatic qualifiers so far is uh, Marlon Devonish. Uh, but depending upon the uh, fortunes of the wind in the stadium here, he should go through as a fastest loser. Although, as I said, there's only three fastest loser spots, and we've uh, got yet four heats to come. There's confirmation of that win for Christophe Lemaitre, 10.14 in heat three, from Justin Gatlin, the former Olympic champion, and in third place, Chirandi Martina.